All right, now on the uh, television, did you look at BMF this week? Yes. All right, before we go, say something. Shout out to Snoop Dogg because uh, that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> if you if you ain't getting nothing, she wants a buddy to come and lay lay down her problems with. No man gives a shit about your problems, sweetheart. <laughs> he felt as though he wasn't getting anything. He said, "Whoop." Take that check back and split it in two. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it was funny when Snoop walked up at the door and she's talking about, I'm going out, I'm going out to dinner. I'll, I'm grown. I can do what I want. I just said, hold on, hold on. Reverend, let me holler at you for a minute and punch him right in his stomach. Mm-hmm. Just because me and my wife got a problem on me, you can take her out to dinner in my face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 that right on that leg. I got you, girl. Yeah. Uh, she's a good actress, too, by the way. I, 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 I always forget to uh, mention that. Uh, extra to me. <laughs> so, uh, another shitty episode. It's shitty because there's too much shit going on. So now, so now the young man, the cop's son, is scared to stay in the house, and now they moved them with his father. I mean, moving with his mother. Moving with his mother. Uh-huh. Uh, the cop and the Asian, the Asian cop and the black cop is still had a thing going on. Shout out to our girl, uh, uh, our girl, uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't know her name on the show, but she, she, uh, my boy choked her out. And now he, <laughs> it's like, dude, just way too much shit. She trying to turn him on to smoking crack. Like, what type of shit is this? Mm-hmm. Well, I knew that was coming anyway, because uh, why, why she kept pushing shit on him? He trying to get where she said, oh, not yet. Just do this. And and as soon as she pulled that crack out, like I'd have been thinking, like, what the fuck you doing with crack? Right. If you ain't smoking crack and you ain't selling crack, why do you got crack? Exactly. No, you uh-huh. go ahead and smoke that thing first, girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, he did that. She wouldn't. Oh, she did it though. She. <laughs> yeah, she's full of crack, and, then, and you knew that was coming. Right. So it's shout- fucked up how she dis- how he be disrespecting his cousin though. My man yeah. do everything for you. He got you got to trash his TV and talk shit about him. Uh huh, and uh, well, shout out to Cash Dial. I mean, you losing the check, but <laughs> <laughs> shout out. But I'm like thinking, like, okay, let's get let's cut the fat out. So when Meech and Terry go to Atlanta, they don't have none of these people around. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> shit, she got it. She's supposed to have a kid with both of them, but uh, Meech never called to check on his kid. Never no. called to see how she doing or nothing. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, how you doing? Well, well, first of all, would you want your your baby mom to to uh, try to set this guy up like that? First of all, he she, keeps coming over to the damn house. Right. All you got to do is sit outside the house. Right. And, and they both and, and the thing is, they both was coming over there, but y'all swear out with y'all enemies. Even one of y'all can sit right outside the house and wait till she pop up. I mean, wait hey. till one of them pop up. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, with us, so uh, so Meech and Terry did go back to Atlanta again. They went went to uh, uh, Monique. I don't know her name on the show. Mm-hmm. Monique's house, and uh, come to find out that M- M- Monique's uh, sister had AIDS. But that's another thing. Why? W- what does this matter to the to the subject of the show? Mm-hmm. They're and, trying to do extra shit. We don't need to know these cops is banging because it makes no sense anyway. Right. They made it seem like she was a, a lesbian, and now here she go rushing to get with him. She can't wait. Right. And how about when Meech and Terry, they got money in their pocket. They got gold chain and money. He gave a, he gave a girl he banged in a strip club money, but they don't have enough money to get a damn hotel. They sitting on the, laying on the couch with my man and his family. <laughs> like, come on now. And that young Miami, boy, that acting skills, boy, you got to go back to acting school because... What the fuck was that? And that last scene where, where she slapped uh, uh, Big Meech, mm-hmm. they should have added that out. Shay said the same thing. I said, damn, you sound just like Roy now. Yeah, they, they should have added that out right there because, well, the the people on the internet said that those tears come down her face was uh, CG. CGI. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's like she's like reading, reading the paper like in front of her or something, the way she was talking. D- d- please don't have her on here. I'm a, well. She since she's a big name or whatever. I, I'm assuming that she's going to be the new cash dial. But they they don't need to have any more people. Cut the fat. Cut the fat of all these people going around. And then I thought B. Mickey was going to get shot in the parking lot. 
See, and that whole thing was stupid to me because Terry was talking to him in a club and he kept seeing Big Mickey looking at him like, oh, I would have thought something was up too. You keep talking to the dude and y'all keep looking at me. Right. And then you come out, he's shooting at y'all and then you got the other dude shooting too. Like it's an okay mm-hmm. corral out front. Exactly. <laughs> and, and and Terry kept saying he a snitch. He going to turn on us. I'm like, how's he a snitch when he made sure y'all got away? Right. He sh- snitches ain't going to show you the wire and let you get the drugs and bounce. Yeah, that's what I was about to add. And he gave him, got him some drugs from him. Mm-hmm. They they needed those drugs, whatever, because they wouldn't have had If he wouldn't have gave him them drugs, they would have been fucked up. Yeah. And then uh, on the internet this morning, I was watching on Reddit because they got their little feed. They were talking about, so we just going to act like this girl never was on the show. And they had the white, the, the white girl getting arrested. Yeah. They said, oh, that must have been just bad writing. They just left us hanging with that whole thing. The cops talked to her, and that was it. We didn't see her no more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, what else went on in this uh, episode? Uh, that was it. I can't believe, like, why in the world is Meech and Terry staying at this guy's house? Now, I can see if the guy just lived there, and he said, well, look, y'all don't need a hotel. Y'all can just stay over here. But his mm-hmm. wife and kids is there over there, and they sitting there laying on a damn couch. Mm-hmm. Get a damn hotel. Yeah, that was stupid. And well, people with money like uh, that that's balling, they don't do that. Exactly. On your couch with your family. It's one thing if it was like a single guy with a crib like that, but he right. got his family there. Right. Like the other house where he was cooking the drugs. Mm-hmm. See, it, it was just him, the, the boy that was cooking the drugs, and Meech and Terry. Now, if they just stayed over there, i give you that. Mm-hmm. But he they he with his wife and his kids and stuff and they laying on the couch. Come on now. What kind of writing is this? Shitty. <laughs> so uh you watched did you watch all four episodes of Snowfall or just yes. the three? No, I watched oh. all four. All right, so what's your thoughts so far? Uh it's okay so far. I ain't got no complaints. I think the uh, uncle is over top now. He's like out for vengeance, fucking everybody. Like he didn't have to kill that girl the way he killed that girl. Right. All right. Beat her I'm down a- like that. Like uh, uh, first off, girls don't be holding on information. You smack them one time, they give it up. You put a gun to their head. So if right. you just keep keep hitting her, and she keeps saying, "I don't know, I don't know." You just keep hitting her. Come on now, that was a little too much. Right. Uh, or you could say something. Oh well, where you live at? Well, I'm a kidnap one of your kids or something like that. She'd have told you then that too. Right. She'd have told you, like, they they didn't really know, because, I mean, mm-hmm. what the hell? All right, I'm a, And uh, uh, I, I was going to say, uh, he said his aunt was on, uh, was a junkie. She was on drugs? Yeah, remember? Remember, remember when, being on yeah, drugs. remember when she was in the hotel, but not, like, strung out junkie. She was, like, one of them uh, active, you know, junkies. Remember she was th- doing lesbo stuff with the girl, and they were doing drugs with each other? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah she was. I remember, uh, I remember her with the girl, but I don't remember her doing the drugs. So when he said that, I'm like, why he say that about her? Yeah, she was doing drugs. Well, uh, speaking of that scene, you know the part where he was like, "Oh, fuck that nigga, go do that shit." And mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my boy go, eh! <laughs> <laughs> what type ah! of writing? <laughs> what type of writing is that shit there? <laughs> he didn't want to kill his uncle, but who's the yelling for? Exactly. <laughs> and a damn restaurant, a crowded mm-hmm. restaurant at that. Yeah, but yeah. so far, no, no. Uh, I think that um, his his uh, mother in law, mm-hmm. or his, I think she's going to uh, burn him because she's already a crook anyway, and she see that that he has money, so I think she's going to swindle swindle him. Well, I I thought like that was kind of stupid that they put her in. Like his wife, all of a sudden now she got all these connects from her past history, life or whatever. Right. And remember, she was like, like, and and remember, she was like green as a leaf when she first came in the scene. Now she got like all these, all these connects. Speak all these different languages. Her and her mom connected. Right. So that was and my, corny to me. And, and my man and, and the homegirl should never came back from Africa. Should have stayed their asses right where they belong. Yep. I don't know why he came back anyway. And then he, the boy said, I don't want those lights out there. Why would you put the lights out, I mean, back in, if you know you're going to have a problem with this nigga? Right. And you still didn't kill him, so yeah, you beat him up. But he got squad. What you going to do now? He going to come, come after you. 
Right. He just uh-huh. stayed his ass in uh, Mexico or wherever you uh, Africa. Africa, yeah. She uh, stayed in Africa. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, so far, I don't really have any complaints about the show. Um, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's little stuff that bother me, like, you got a, a KGB, but he's Mexican. Mm-hmm. Like, why they couldn't get a Mexican dude to be KGB? Or a Russian, Russian spy, oh, whatever yeah. you want to call him. Uh-huh. They're not going to have no Mexican dude as a Russian spy. And, of course, he's gay, too, so oh, yeah, they, uh, they always, always got to add gay, that Always got to throw the gay mix in the shit. Right. Well, who cares who he banging? Why they got to show this dude? See, now, I, guarantee you, I guarantee you we never see this guy again. Right. See, that's that's the stuff I always say with these black shows. Okay, he's gay, he's gay, but why do we need to see that? We don't right. have to see him laying in bed and all that stuff. You taking away from the storyline. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, the other show, uh, Tommy show. They made the they made the brother say, "Yeah, my husband," but then they never show him do no gay shit or talk about his husband ever again since that one episode where he mentioned he had a husband. Right. Like, why right. you even throw this in the mix like that? Exactly. So, yeah, uh, I don't really have any uh, complaints about the show. My nephew said that this is the best show on TV, I Mm. guess. Would you consider it the best show on TV? Mm, I guess. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Uh, I I told Shay I liked it more than I like uh, BMF. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, true. I I like the first season of BMF, but the second season just been a down slide for me. True. I agree right along with you on that one. It is better than BMF. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you watch The Godfather of Harlem, this uh, this newer episode? Yes. Okay. Now, did you hear the trap? I usually watch that up uh, Sunday morning when I get up. Now, did you hear the trap rap? on? <laughs> that don't bother me. Oh, it bothers me a whole lot. Now, when he now if somebody was walking down the street, <laughs> if somebody was walking down the street playing that music or they came in the house and played the music, then I would have a problem with it. <laughs> but, for, but for us to just hear it, it don't bother me. Oh goodness, it, it, it just it, 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 it. so it's trap music going on. My man sitting in a 1960 something car. It's not <laughs> coming out of his radio. If it was coming out of his radio, then it'd be a problem. It don't matter though. It it ain't matter. the point. Why can't you just have Mo- Motown? Well, write write a letter to the damn the, the production company and tell them about that. Oh, I would too. No, you won't. No, yeah, I would. Like, what the hell? No, I would. I would. Uh, um, I would tweet our boy. Uh, he probably would, wouldn't even see that shit. Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of the goddamn uh, trap rap and a and a, a 1960 period TV show. That don't make any sense. Yeah, that don't bother me. <laughs> uh, so well, our girl was going to leave him. And it took her what a good about twenty minutes to go back to him. Mm-hmm. Well, see the thing is, just the same way I, I feel about her, I feel about the mom on BMF. They act like they don't know what their their family's doing. Like you're one, you, you're married to the, one of the biggest fucking dope dealer pushers, fucking drug lords in fucking Harlem. But you live in a penthouse. People getting killed. Huh? Right. You live in a penthouse, and he doesn't right. do much. You, you get all these benefits from it, and, and then you shock that somebody's getting killed. Some shady shit going on. And, and with BMF, the mom, every time you turn around, she's surprised that her kids are drug dealers. Like, come mm-hmm. on now, cut it out. And and uh, she got so upset that he went back to selling drugs. What the hell else is he supposed to do, ma'am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the whole thing I, I didn't understand is because Malcolm was trying to uplift the people and do the right thing, but he's best friends with the biggest drug pusher in the, in the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, you right. know that's true. You know they well, were friends. No, really but see, I think that I no, no, no. I think they was friends, but I think they're stretching it for the TV show more right. than what it is. So now that they're like fucking at odds, I'm like, cool. Can we move on now? Well, well, he was the Bumby Johnson was the one that um was was given security at his house. Mm-hmm. And when he when I guess they got mad at each other, he stopped doing security at the house. That's when the house uh, uh, got firebombed or slash caught on fire. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know which one you want to uh, say. I think he it was firebomb. So there was kind of sort of truth to that. Right. No, I know. I understand that they they uh, was friends and all this. But it's just it's like a big contradiction with the whole Malcolm X movement because mm-hmm. he's trying to help the community. But you best friends with the fucking biggest problem. One of the biggest problems in the community is pushing the drugs. Yeah, we he didn't bring the drugs here, but you're allowing him to sell the drugs and you're cool with it. Right. Right. 
And all Bumpy had to do was fucking show the dude, look, my, my man had to take him out because he's about to shoot a rocket launcher at the whole convention. Look, he go to rocket launcher, he go picture him on the ground. None of that. Yep, he just was like, all right, and just got yep. out and just left. <laughs> and the, the uh, mob boss daughter trying to set up, uh, uh, now now she got power in the mob, uh, uh, well, a bunch of men, by the and, way. And the thing is, it's all her fault for starting to lie. Yep. My yep. man ain't never push up on her. She said they started the whole lie and got him on the hit list. And, and here's another week. Here's another thing. Last week when the lawyer was getting his ass beat and he mm-hmm. wouldn't tell tell uh, what happened. Now, you actually think if that lawyer was getting beat up like that, he'd be like, well, look, she said yep. that. And she just like sitting there. Ain't no way in the world I will hold that to myself. Right. I'm like, no, she said that, that you and was doing that. And even the uncle, that's the pastor. She confessed to him. Why he ain't clean that shit up and be like, look, she said this, but she made it up, and then she told me the truth. Yeah, the way to stop the warning and shit. You know what I Exa- mean? Exactly, exactly. Now yeah, that's well, her uncle, and he on a fucking hit list now. Yeah, a a dorn uh uh um what uh priest? You you said pastor? He's a priest. Pastor, a damn priest. Same shit. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pastors and priests, they don't don't they both run the church? Different, different type of sex. Different type of churches, yes, but it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, how you been liking Last of Us? I like it. You said this this week is the last episode. Yes, they doing nine instead of ten. Ten yeah. episodes. I so. uh, the last episode that was one of the best episodes to me because my man he got vicious and everybody kept complaining on the line saying he way more vicious and and tougher than the guy that's on TV. Right. And see, I don't know the game, so I don't know. I just go by what people saying. Right. And then he finally put in some work and shit. Mm-hmm. And the same with the little girl. She got out of her shell and put in some work. Mm-hmm. So I kind of liked it. And it's weird because I looked at it for like a zombie show, but they ain't even showed a zombie like the last episode or two. Yeah, it's been a while. The, well, uh-huh. they, uh, the last one was when the the, uh, the zombie was, uh, when the girl was doing the flashback. That was the last time we seen one of them, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, that was like two episodes ago. Mm-hmm. Well, he said that. He said that to her um, when they were in the wilderness eating. She, mm-hmm. He said that you don't have to worry about uh, uh, the the zombies out here. It's the people that, that you have to worry about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he, he he said it to her. Now, who's the man? Did You you watched the last episode, right? Yes. Who's the man that they kept saying, like, uh, the man you would kill and he was with the little girl? And she lost her dad because you're you're the guy you would killed her. Who was the, who was the guy? Why did he kill him? Um, it was the dudes that when they went to school. Remember they was in that college, and they was like about to get on a horse, and and uh, the one you when he got stabbed, they, trapped, they got trapped in that garage, and they got in the shootout. That one? No, no, the one he got uh, uh stabbed in. Mm-hmm. And remember, he oh, was, when it was at that old building, and the guys he, came outside. It was a school, the school that yeah, they was in. Yeah. That's that, that's so uh, one the of those guys. Was the dad. Yeah, oh, that's okay. what that's the one that they were eating. And here they sitting there eating ass. Right. <laughs> well, my thing is, did you see all the dead bodies in the room that they were about to sit, prep up for eating? That was hanging. Yeah. Now yeah. my thing is, now did these people just die, or you just killed them and was going to eat them? It's probably a combination of both. <laughs> like one person missing the head, somebody else look like they cut a chunk of his stomach out. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do? Let him die. But then he was on some pedophile shit. Man, you can take over everything, and we can run this together. Like, yeah. Huh? That's yeah. Twelve year old, and you talking like you got a grown ass woman that's gonna be your wife? Yep. Yeah, that's what he was talking. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, how you been liking the Wu Tang? Uh, I haven't series. been watching that. Okay. There's a lot of shit, so I'm. Uh, I was trying to let that and Snowfall build up a little bit before I jump back in, but then I jumped back into Snowfall, so I haven't jumped back onto that one yet. What was the last episode of Wu Tang? Did you see? I didn't watch any of this this season. Oh, I thought you'd been watching it. I'm sorry. No, I didn't watch none this season. I'm sorry. All right, on to our favorite show now, Married at First Sight. We're gonna go by couples. We're gonna by Aris and Jasmine. This heiress, man, what the first of all, the questions I don't understand, I don't believe in talking about. Uh, uh, why do I want to know when the last time my girl was in fell in love? 
What the last time? How long were you in love for? And he got upset because she wasn't involved in the orgy. Yeah, he also <laughs> said she boring because she never cheated on nobody. Right. Oh, you've never cheated on nobody? Like you said, I think he's probably just doing that to try to get I think, out of it. Right. Uh, so, so I think, uh, first of all, I think he's lying about a lot of the shit that he said he done. And then uh-huh. I think he's saying shit just to piss her off so she don't want to be with him. Mm-hmm. So it's an easy way out for him. Right. I, I don't get it because I don't see any problem because, with her. Because if he's so sexual like he was, he would have been pushed up on her, made a move on her. I ain't right. trying to hear that. Why well, I ain't really attracted to her the way she attracted me. Bullshit, dude. If you sexual as to say you was, because I'm pretty sure them girls that he banged in the past don't look like her. Mm-hmm. Now, are they laying in bed together? I don't know. I, don't, I guess. They don't mm-hmm. ever show them together, but I don't know. So, so he, so he Let's just say they are laying in bed together. So he's so sexual and everything, but they laying in bed together, but he don't want to do it, uh, have sex with her. I, I think she's down, but I think she waiting for him to make the move, and he don't want to make the move. Right. Other than them damn dogs, I don't see anything wrong with her. Oh, she got a long ass. Uh, you said it's not a tramp stamp; it's just a tattoo on her back. But boy, yeah. that's a big ass tattoo. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see that wrong with her. So hey, look. <laughs> and and like I said, when she probably got that later on after her pageant days was over. Mm-hmm. Because she would have been winning with that on her back, right? So uh, we got Christopher and Nicole. Now Cr- Christopher talked about Nicole's weight and oh boy, I guess we can't mention about her. He didn't say like, oh, what you look is disgusting. He just said you were a uh, thick, a little thick. <laughs> and it's funny because he saw the way she responded when the other boy said something about weight, right? And then he was sitting there talking shit with the rest of the guys about, man, you should have said that. And then he turned mm-hmm. around and pretty much do the same thing. I, I think he's doing what you said. Uh, he's like playing that little nice guy role, but he really ain't nice. And right. I, don't, I don't think he really wants to be with her like that. With her, uh, If he can get something, because they don't only want having sex, right? Yeah. Well, if he can get something, I mean, he'll take it. Well, that's what I told Shay. I said, I don't understand why females were going to the show, because the guys are going to the show just to get some easy ass. Right. But these girls are probably trying to find love and all this stuff and getting taken advantage of. You know what I mean? Right. And with him, like uh he said, I asked the I asked the producers, I wanted a girl that was thick, but not that thick. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? For, like, damn, like, <laughs> and she got that look like, <laughs> like she like, here we go again, you motherfucker. And uh-huh. I told Shay, I said the same thing. I said, most of these white guys, they like skinny girls. Right. So you, you can think what you want. You can be thick and all this stuff. The white guys want skinny girls. It is what it is. That, that's why that's what I don't understand with with uh uh Kirsten. Now Kirsten uh has a nice body now, but let's be honest, she's like a ham sandwich away. How let's old be is honest. She? She's in her thirties. Uh oh, she's yeah, like yeah. Yeah, she's like a ham sandwich away. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. she says she's not in the black guys like that. She don't find black guys attractive. I see. And I'm like, I remember you said that before, and I never, I never heard her say that. Yeah, she said it when, when uh, uh, she was like ready about to get married. You know, they doing all that stuff. I and never she, heard her say that. And she said, "I'm not really attracted to black guys like that." No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I heard her say she wasn't attracted to bald guys. No, she said black guys. No, she said bald. No, she said black. Man, she said bald. I'm telling you, she said black. She, maybe she said both, but she definitely said no bald. because she didn't. She didn't know he was bald yet. She said right, but she said she wasn't. She told the producers she didn't want a bald guy. She said I wasn't attracted to black guys. Oh like man! That. So I'm thinking like Show what me the white clip. guy? Oh, I, I, I can find hold it. On, hold on, let me ask Shay. Did Kirsten say she don't like black guys? On Married First Sight, the girl Kirsten. Did she say she don't like black guys? Elijah Wan. She said no. She said the same thing. Ball guys. No, she said I don't remember her saying that. There you go trying to. Uh, I, I can hear. What, yes, what did you just say? She said I don't remember her saying that. She said ball guys. Didn't you say ball? See? But she didn't know that he was bald at the time. She and didn't. You don't gotta up. know when you tell the producers what you want. You don't gotta know that they bald. All if right. You tell I'm the producers fine. you don't want a bald guy, and they turn around and give you a bald guy. You are gonna tell the girls I asked for not a bald, to have a bald guy. I'm not attracted to bald guys. I'll find it. I'll find it. She said black guys. 
so that's what I'm saying. Like, what white guy would be interested in in her like that? Gail sleep with her, but so if she wanted a white guy, they would have gave her a white guy. They gave her a bald guy, and she don't like bald guys. But they, she didn't know he was bald. Right. She but didn't her meet. The, she never meet the husband. She didn't. So she wasn't talking about preferences. She just said, "I ain't really attracted to black guys like no, that." No, 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 no. She talked to about the producers, and she said, "I told the producers I didn't want a bald guy. I'm not attracted to bald guys." Mm-hmm. Well, before you we said did... that before about black guys, and I was like, I don't remember that. But all right, I, I'll find it. All right. Uh, all right. Before we go down to uh, uh, Shaquille and Christian, we're going to talk about Clint and Gene. Uh, nothing about them. Uh, they didn't do anything. I know they went out to the rodeo. That would. They uh, they, my man had a perfect opportunity if he's trying to make it work to just pull her in. They had a good time at the rodeo. They standing there. Just grab her hand, pull her in, and give her a kiss. Right. They ain't kissing, they ain't holding hands or nothing, but they're kind of like getting in a good place with each other. Right. Well, she, she she's seeing that he ain't really that bad of a guy. Cause she kind of she kind of turned off on him with the ginger ginger shit, uh, and then when he he talked about her weight, but now at the he like was with her her uh, her girlfriends and he taking her out and all that stuff. She thinking like, wow, he ain't really all that bad of a person as I thought. Yeah, so yeah, I don't really have anything to say to them. Uh, Mac and Dominique is mathematically eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> so there we got uh, Shaquille and Kirsten. And my man Shaquille, our educator brother, we got to give him props because he he had an opportunity to get a job, but he didn't take it because of her. Somebody he never slept with, and she ain't really all into him like that. I'm confused. No, now you talking about giving props. I want to give him donkey of the day. <laughs> I'm giving him props for trying to make it work. <laughs> donkey of the day. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn down a, a, a job that he wanted for a, a girl that don't like him and don't find him attractive. That don't make no sense. Right. And and how about uh, when they showed them at the... Uh, uh, what would you call it? Like the flower uh, store, a flower place. And yeah. she, she had zero interest on what the hell he was talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, if if she could jump on a rocket ship and shoot shoot herself out of there, she would. <laughs> well, well, she don't have interest in anything except looking pretty. You pretty much, yeah. She don't because uh-huh. she say it's so much stuff I got that you don't know about me. All right, well, tell me. No, 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 no. I told you everything. Like what? You mm-hmm. just told me there's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know, and you don't tell me anything. Yep. And, she don't and, tell him because she don't want him to know. And then she get on the uh the talk after show, and she get to crying, and all the girls want to give her a hug. Talk oh, about that's what happened? On yeah. He putting pressure oh. on her to open up, and she's really trying, this and that. Was you that know, this week? Bullshit. Was that this week? I guess. I don't know. It was uh <laughs> one of the last ones I saw. Because I don't really watch those after show uh, talks with Rudy. Uh-huh. But I yeah, to catch it that time. yeah. I was gonna say, please, sir, don't uh, let me look at that, please. <laughs> well, a lot they, they let you know a lot of stuff on that show, though. You know what I mean? That's uh, behind the scenes, right? <laughs> but I don't, I don't watch it live. So when I stream it, I don't get to see that. But every once in a while, she'll watch it live, and when we watch it live, it comes right on afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh well any well you mentioned one of the uh, B movies you looked at was there any other movies that you uh, uh I, I did at? watch uh Otto that was a, a good sad movie what's Otto uh Tom Hanks oh 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 okay right what is it called like I I forget the name the the full name of it but it's like something Otto that's like what his wife died or something he befriended neighbors or did I get it wrong. Yeah, you close. It's a uh, my man just don't know how to kill himself. Mm-hmm. It's called a man called Otto. Oh, okay. So yeah, his his wife his his wife dies. So then he's uh trying to kill himself. He ain't got nothing to live for. But he's like a grumpy ass old man. He got to do his rounds, and that always trip me out when these white guys got to do their rounds like that. Old old guys, not just white guys. I'm pretty sure black guys do it too. The old guys got to do their rounds. Just walk the neighborhood and do different shit. <laughs> so you ain't into your neighbors like that. Not to do no rounds. <laughs> like yeah, a man next door, the old guy next door. I leave out, I want to say like seven o'clock in the morning and he's coming out the house and then he's like 
he walks real slow. Sometimes he's in the middle of the street, and I'm like right behind him, like, damn, we get his ass out the street, but I don't want to hit the horn on him, so I'm just waiting for him to like walk real slow across the street. Right. He could barely move, and then he walked all the way down to like uh McDade. Mm-hmm. And I guess he's making his rounds. You know what I mean? Because he walked down there, then he come all the way back. All right. And one day I was going, one day I was going down there and I see him arguing with some black lady at the uh septa station. I'm like, what is he doing over there arguing with this lady? Like he lives on my block. He don't catch septa, so why is he even over there? And they just going at it. I'm like, this guy barely like sometimes he say, Hey Phil, what's going on? Then other times he look at you like you don't even know who you is. Mm-hmm. So I speak to him when he speak to me. You know what I mean? Sometimes I speak to him. He don't say shit. Sometimes yeah, yeah. He, he don't say. He's one of. He's weird like that. And yeah. I say, hey, he's old. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But, but he knows uh, my daughter's birthday, and he's crazy like that. <laughs> Damn. How do you know my daughter's birthday? <laughs> Dale, you not that age, Philip. You probably be making your rounds too if you was retired and had. Well, I ain't making no rounds. <laughs> my 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 uh, my rounds would be going to see my grandma. Like uh once a week or something like that or go see my mom something like that but not uh, walking the neighborhood and fucking with people <laughs> hey they care about their neighborhood that's why our neighborhoods going to shit because we don't have people like that making rounds as you call right. it <laughs> and he befriended a young couple right yeah uh well he, he had a lot of friends but uh he was like the grumpy old man and my man just trying to offer himself, but they just wouldn't let him or some shit always kept happening and shit Mm-hmm. But he so, wound up uh he wound up uh doing some becoming a nice guy in the end and like helping a lot of people with their shit. Mm-hmm. So you liked it? It was okay, a nice little wholesome movie. Would I watch it again? Probably not. It's <laughs> Tom Hanks, so should he win an Oscar? Probably. Uh-huh. Well, they got uh uh Top Gun Maverick is like one of the best films. I'm like, what the hell? I said if Top Gun Maverick is one of the best films for an Oscar, then them, them other films must be shitty. Well, I didn't I didn't watch Top Gun. It, I, I mean it's okay. An- Angela Bassett really had like one line in the movie and, and she's up for an Oscar, so hey. Right. She's like Harley in it. Harley right. in Black Panther. Right. So in other words, that lady uh the everywhere, anywhere. Uh, uh, a uh, movie. Yeah, she win. she's gonna rack up on everything, right? Because uh, well, you know, uh, Hollywood likes stuff like that. Downtrodden. You have to be downtrodden, handicapped, being abused and beat up. And and she played a whole lot of different roles. So that they'll they'll probably uh give her um the award. She's gonna rack up on the awards, and that that's that'll probably be best film right there. And you said you liked it. It's watchable. See, I don't like that. Uh, I like action movies. Uh, I know this is going to sound strange, ladies and gentlemen, but I like action movies to be serious. I don't like that playing around and oh yeah <laughs> and all that type of shit. That that goofy shit. And that's what the action. That's what the action scenes was. They were like like a uh, kung fu hustle. Like I told you about uh-huh. the movie Kung Fu Hustle. It's, it's that type of uh, uh, action. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, not really. I was gonna ask you: Is it a place, uh, a website, or a place where I can find like hood movies? I remember it was a store downtown that used to sell them Jones. No, well, you know, when you dealing with online, you know, it's hard to find those kind of. Uh, uh, now, what kind of hood movies are you talking about? Like a uh, My Struggle Boosie movie. That I had that. Of- no, I, I had that. Uh, I had that film. My struggle. I had it. I looked at it, but I delete. That was like uh, like last year sometime. Shay want to see it. Shay want to see it, and I couldn't find it nowhere. Yeah, I had that. Um, so that, it's three movies I want to see. That one I want to see. Water Boys, and then I want to see uh, everything is both. Bar Boy from the Shy. I can't find those movies nowhere. Yeah, I look around, but uh, I saw the My Struggle uh, Bootsy uh, movie. Did you like it? Mm, watchable. Watchable. I mean, that's, it's like a B, yeah, it's like a B movie, but you know. Yeah, that's the story of his life, right? I guess. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, that he was in yeah. court and all that stuff and, yeah. and beat the court case. Right, so Shay, Shay want to watch it. So I was like, I try to find it, but I can't find it nowhere. It'll pop up on like the different streaming uh, sites and apps and Cody. But then when I go to hit play, it won't it won't be nothing near. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'll, if I find it, I'll let you know. Well, check for all three if you can. All right. Anything else? Uh, not really. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. You can reach the Judgmentals on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube at PNL Judgmentals. Instagram, the two underscores Judgmentals. Or you can email us at PNL Judgmentals at gmail.com. Sorry, Phil. All right, y'all. Peace out. All right.